Hello, this is Dr. Gandhi. Welcome to my video on comparing a paired samples t-test and a repeated measures ANOVA. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data. I have an ID variable. I have 40 records here. And I have an independent variable. And I have two levels So this independent variable. CBT, or cognitive behavior therapy, and treatment as usual. There are 20 records associated with each level of program. And then I have a pretest score, this is a continuous variable, a test administered after six weeks, and a post test administered after 12 weeks. And these data are configured in such a way to demonstrate the capabilities of a paired samples t-test as compared to a repeated measures ANOVA. Both of these statistics are considered within subjects. So they're both applied to within subjects designs. So looking at these data, let's take ID 1004. This participant was in the CBT treatment group, in the CBT program, and they have three test scores. All three of these scores were recorded from the same participant. So this participant scored 49, 41, and 32 at these three different times, at pretest, six weeks later, and at 12 weeks later. If we only were interested in two of these variables, and we weren't interested in CBT versus treatment as usual, we could use a paired samples t-test. So a paired samples t-test could tell us if there's a statistically significant difference between pretest and the test after six weeks. So the paired samples t-test is popular with pretest, post-test designs. So to conduct a paired samples t-test, in this example, we're just interested in this pretest, and the test administered six weeks later, go to analyze, compare means, paired samples t-test, and this is what the dialog looks like by default. You can see you have pair one, variable one, and variable two, so I'm just going to move pretest over to variable one, and the test six weeks after into variable two. Under options, I'm going to make no changes. Click continue and then click OK. So we have the paired sample statistics and correlations, but of most interest to us would be the paired samples test. We're given the mean, the standard deviation, the standard error of the mean, the 95% confidence interval, the T statistic value, degrees of freedom, and the p-value, in this case 0 0.013, or 1.3%. This is below 5%, so this is a statistically significant value. So as you can see, the paired samples t-test can be valuable, but it has limits with these data, for example. So if we want to include the independent variable program, and or include the post-test at 12 weeks, we would need to move to a repeated measures ANOVA. So to perform a repeated measures ANOVA, we'll go to Analyze, General Linear Model, and Repeated Measures. And you can see before you get into the main repeated measures ANOVA dialog, we have this dialog where we define the factor or factors. So for this example, we're just going to look at the pretest, the test after six weeks, and the post test. So the factor will be time. And even if we included the independent variable, the factor would still be time. And I'll look at that in a moment. So the number of levels here is the same as the number of variables. So the number of levels here is the same as the number of variables. So we have three here. Put three for number of levels and add in its time three. And define that. You can see within subjects variables time. You have a question mark here by the one, two, and three. 
I'll just put these three variables in spots one, two, and three. Just drag them over, drop them in. Now, of course, there are assumptions for repeated measures ANOVA and paired samples t-test, but I'm just trying to demonstrate the functionality here of repeated measures ANOVA. So I'm not going to change any of the default options. I'm just going to click OK. And you can see the output for the repeated measures ANOVA by default. And you can see no matter which p-value we choose here, we have a statistically significant result. Because there is a statistically significant p-value for the Mockley's test of sphericity, we would not select the sphericity assumed. But again, in this case, it doesn't matter as all these are statistically significant. If we wanted to add the independent variable program, go back to the general linear model, repeated measures, we're going to leave it at time 3, define, and all we would do is move this variable program into it, the between subjects factor list box and click OK. And here we have statistically significant findings for the effect of time and time times program. 0.034, that's below 0.05, it's also statistically significant. Moving down here to Mockley's test sericity, again this assumption is violated. And when we look at the test of within subjects effects, all the values are statistically significant for time and time times program. If you want more information on sericity and what statistic to interpret here in a test of within subjects effects, I have a separate video that covers that. Moving back to the statistics data editor. We can see that the repeated measures ANOVA has more capabilities. You can have an independent variable. In this case with two levels, but the repeated measures ANOVA can also handle more than two levels and more than one independent variable. Additionally, whereas the paired samples t-test can only have two dependent variables, repeated measures ANOVA in this case can have three and it can actually have more than that. So you can have more than two dependent variables and you can have a single independent variable or multiple independent variables. So what would happen if we were just interested in the pretest and the test taken six weeks later, not interested in the independent variable program and not interested in the post-test at 12 weeks, would we get the same result with a paired samples t-test that we would with the repeated measures ANOVA? Well, we know from the paired samples t-test, when we ran that statistic, the p-value was 0 0.013. So if I go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Repeated Measures, and I'm going to change this to time, I'm going to remove this one, and change this one to time and just two levels. So I'm just going to use the pretest and the test at six weeks. So it's going to be time two, define, and I'm going to take the between subjects factor program and move it back to the left. So we just have these two tests, the same two variables that we saw in the paired samples t-test. I click OK. And under multivariate test, of course, we have several different tests, but again, it doesn't matter. The p-value here is 0 0.013 for all of them. So we get the same result with the repeated measures ANOVA as we do with the paired samples t-test when using just the two dependent variables. I hope you found this video on comparing the paired samples t-test and the repeated measures ANOVA to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. and I'll be happy to assist you.